like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. Atheists of reddit, you die and wake up with god standing in front of you. What do you say do? I did my best to be good, without believing I was being judged. We were looking for the opposite. Pearl's lever. Wrong lever. Kronk. Why do we even have that lever smacks crack? In behalf of everyone. Duck you for mosquitoes. As a kid I at some point considered eradicating mosquitoes to be a future career. I recently found out people bred ones that can't carry malaria and other diseases and released them in large hordes. I know it's to breed out disease carriers but still. There are also variants that foster only impotent offspring. Occupying the reproductive cycle with offspring that can't reproduce. This sounds more in line with what you're after. And there goes the food chain. I stand corrected. I read this in Peter O'Toole's voice. Happy cake day. You don't need to be if you murder him in his sleep. Huck, I guess I was wrong. About that cancer thing. I sent you a book and a whole bunch of really intense preachers who said you should believe everything the book said. What more clues did you need? Actual proof and not just a book that was written by humans when information was spread by word of mouth and when we were much less scientifically advanced than we are now. I wanted to believe in you, but you never gave me a reason to- Got, there's billions of you and I gotta go out of my way for you. Suck an egg and enjoy your stay. I sent he all powerful, he should've infinite time for every living organism. Got, clingy much. Hey, I followed the evidence you left and found it to be inconclusive at best. Can't fault me for using the brain you gave me. Good on you. Using that noggin. True that. Who made you? Who made who? Angus did. WHO turned the screw. That's a twist I didn't see coming. Okay, so did any of those arguing down there get it right? Almost every religion got at least 10% right. But this guy Doug Fawcett got like 95% right after getting high on mushrooms in his basement. I don't get it, but it sounds like something Douglas Adams would write. I'm atheist, I believe that there are many things out there that we do not understand, and that we cannot currently explain. I also believe that which has been explained refutes much of what religions believe to be true. If I'm wrong and end up standing in front of a god when I die, hopefully he'll see that I lived a good life and tried to be the best person I could be regardless of religion. I don't need punishments for bad deeds at the end of my time on earth to be the motivation to be a good person. I would hope that any god that did the job of judging me sees this. I like this. If I'm wrong and end up standing in front of a god when I die, hopefully he'll see that I lived a good life and tried to be the best person I could be regardless of religion. Unfortunately it doesn't matter. Rejecting god is punishable with hellfire regardless if you were a good person or not. Which is actually BS cause there's no hellfire in hell according to the bible. Hell is just the absence of god. For all we know it's the ducking void. How dare you create a world in which there is such misery. I mean cancer in children. Really? It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean minded, stupid god who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? Stephen Fry. Smart man. I've been thinking of some way to say something similar. But why not just go with what works? OP. This is my answer as well. While I agree that any god that says they are omniscient and omnibenevolent can eat this response, this doesn't apply for gods outside this category. Say there's a god that wants to do good or doesn't have a perfect moral compass, and as a result created a world with a lot of pain and suffering? What if the god couldn't do better? Or my favorite possibility, what if there is a good god and a bad god? One is omniscient but only elects to do things that are good and is omnibenevolent. And one is omniscient but elects to do only bad things and is omnibenevolent. This is a good response to any god who claims to be morally perfect and all-powerful. But otherwise I wouldn't say this. And what if there are hundreds of little mouse gods on each continent that look exactly like other mice but watches? And if you kill one of them you will be punished? We can imagine millions of different beings and call them god. Because human imagination is powerful. That does not mean any of the ones we will all have dreamed up are real. The question asked if we see god after death. That styling is usually used for the Abrahamic god. Who is supposedly Triomni. Which one are you? 4. 
Vishnu, is that really you? It was me, Dio. Well, what god? An elderly looking man with a white beard and flowing white robes holding a bible in one hand and a necklace with a cross on it? Or a brown skinned dude wearing an Arabian costume? An elephant man with 8 arms? A giant lizard with laser beams shooting out of its eyes? Or some being that has never been described by any religion we know of on earth? I mean, you can describe the creator of the universe as god and sure, argue that it exists, even that it can be seen by us after we die. But that doesn't give any hints whatsoever about anything about this god at all. Maybe we just see the Higgs boson particle, in which case it can't really converse with it so I guess I wouldn't say anything. A giant lizard with laser beams shooting out of its eyes? Or some being that has never been described by any religion we know of on earth? So, the giant lizard is part of some religion and I didn't know? That's a reference to god, Zilla, a far more plausible god than the others mentioned earlier. I'm pretty sure there is some type of cosmic horror in the deep sea so I can't say it isn't plausible to exist. Great job on cancer and plagues. Dong. You don't get to judge me. Just it. And dumb religious wars. Do you get uncomfortable when human women moan oh god? Yes and similar phrases when they orgasm or is that a turn on for you? It's a turn off because that's a sin. Well damn god. It was meant to be a compliment. Huh. Wanna hang out? I got some quality dope. That's actually how you died. Guess God really wanted some quality weed. Hello. This is my favorite reply lol. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. It's so big. Still not convinced. You're gonna have to try better than that. Ha 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 ha. I wasn't either when I saw him. Remember that time I believed in you when I was younger? Yeah, let's stick to that. Haha. <laughs> Hello there. And God replies General Kenobi. He was a bold one. Well shit. So which one are you? Just send me to hell. I asked you for help for years and you failed me no matter how good I was. I was 7. Duck you. The most relatable answer. You go down there look at all the suffering and all the crazy hypocrites claiming to speak for you and tell me if you would believe that there was any higher power, especially one that gives a duck, for your sake. Bro, couldn't you at least keep the pedophiles from using your house as a place to hook up? Well I'll be damned. Not an atheist, but a non-denim who doesn't practice either. I'm more of a believe it whenever I see it type usually though, so I'd be filled with such love and happiness that he's actually real. Sounds like an agnostic attitude. Yes, I know. This is in fact another word for it. Smiling face. Can I have a go since you're not playing anymore? Why cancer man? Your sin brought it into this world, my dear child. I'd like to speak to the manager, please. I'd like to think I'd tell him to go duck himself because if he was real he would be the most evil being in existence judging off the bible but in reality eternal damnation doesn't sound great so I'll shuffle off and mingle with the sheeple. You should be ashamed of yourself. Can you send me to hell already? He is way more sane than you. I find your methodology unethical. Which one are you and why do babies get cancer? Dude. Was this your first try? Or the side project you just left alone to see what would happen? Either way, I called her done better bro. Flip him the double bird. Then kick him in the abdomen. Dong kick him in the dong. He ain't using it. Oh shit I was totally ducking wrong. Didn't you create atheists? Edit. Bro. A lot of responses. I didn't expect. On my first day on reddit. My comments to even matter. I think if an all-powerful god was standing in front of me I would feel the power of their presence. I would then ask if it's this easy for me to know who you are. Why did you make it damn near impossible for the rest of my life? What the hell dude? If you made me in your image you know why I didn't believe in you. Nothing. Either god finds me worthy because I have lived a righteous life independent of his religion, whichever that one may be. Or he judges me to not be worthy, in which case he is a hypocrite because he forgives believers for murder, rape, and all manner of other nasty behavior, but will not forgive me skepticism. Either way it's a win, I gain entry on merit, or I join the ranks in hell in helping to overthrow a hypocrite. 
what in the actual duck were you thinking? Okay well you have no proof except a book that seems like someone wrote it drunk plus duck you for periods painfully childbirth plagues and every else that sucks. You can't punish me for not believing. What god would let people bite into Kit Kats without splitting them up? First of all, I'd ask him if he could prove he's a god and not some kind of alien with fancy tech that my primitive mind just can't grasp. If he'd somehow actually be god, I'd want a serious talk about all the atrocities he committed in the bible's stories and why he'd allow all the terrible things that happened through history. Cause if he'd be real, he certainly has more in common with a malevolent demon king than with a loving and caring deity. Who are you? Like from Skyrim. Well, duck. Okay, where's the door to hell? I'm assuming that's where you're sending me. You're a piece of shit. You're kind of an a-hole. Huh. I'm not one of those smug a-holes who would think of something witty to say to God. I'd probably just stand there in some sort of terrible stupor, to frighten to comprehend what I was seeing. If God can even take a form my feeble mind can process it all, I probably wouldn't even be able to recognize I was dead unless God told me so. I would do his bidding, whatever that may be. Where the hell have you been? I refer to Stephen Fry's take on this exact question. YouTube link. Join our community discord, link in description. Sorry, there was just no evidence. I'm sure I was more polite to you by not believing in you and acting right, rather than being okay with a tyrannical genocidal maniac who tortures people eternally for finite arbitrary crimes. All my life, I struggled, I cried, I went through things no one should have to go through, I cried myself to sleep throughout half my childhood, I prayed and begged for some sort of sign that you were looking out for me, that you loved me, that you cared, I only got more hurt. You never helped me through a second of if, I helped myself, I don't care if you're here now, you were never there when it actually mattered, I didn't believe in you then and I don't believe in you now. Me, visibly biffed god, is this about the transed me, yes say hole where's my dong at? What the duck is your problem, like, seriously, damn. My feelings would be heavily conflicted, I would of course be thrown for a loop, but at the same time I would be angry. How dare someone, all powerful and all knowing, craft a world where children have insects hatch in their eyes and eat them out. How dare someone create a world where part of their plan is what Peter Scully did, to blame the human race. Because apparently it's our own fault for living in a world steeped in sin. But the all knowing jackass, knew, all the crap in Eden was going to happen. So he is just torturing us for fun. And in regards to Satan, why would you create angels capable of those feelings and then punish them for being exactly how you made them? Again, if he is all-knowing and all-powerful, he could have just not given him those feelings of jealousy or pride, or at the very least not condemned him for having them. In summary I would probably be very angry, and very afraid of what would happen next because his record of behavior isn't great. Laugh really hard. What reason do I have to believe that you're God, rather than for example, a super intelligent, super powerful alien? I knew it. You have got a ton of explaining to do. I mean, you see what it looks like down there, can you blame me? Make a try for the throne, go to do something to entertain myself for eternity, maybe in heaven I can 1v1 God, who knows? Is it too late to repent? We cool? Hahaha <laughs> that made me smile. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. X3. Your followers aren't doing you any justice, rather the opposite. That was honestly 9 out of 10 of the problem. I'd probably dazzle God with my majestic poetry skills. Sorry did I tried my best, but hentai titties made me forget to confess. Nothing God should understand exactly where you're coming from. So you are real. Good job on all the child cancers. Don't. Send me to hell. At least it'll be warm. I have seen this one a few times but I'll play. Series of questions. Which religion got it right? Why? Why give kids cancer? That's messed up. 
What is the point of free will if you get mad at our choices? Duck off. Are there other gods? If so, how come I am not talking to them? What is the meaning of life? Had to ask of course. Please tell me it's 42. What is your actual stance of LBGTQ plus people? Is there other intelligent life in the universe? Why why not? Were you high when you came up with the platypus? If so, that's hilarious. Is there a devil evil deity? Did you create them? Why? If that devil evil deity punishes bad people, are they really evil? Would they not welcome the bad people? Oh, back to religion. Why haven't you corrected all the misinterpretations of religion that happens to be correct? Of the thousands of religions throughout history, were dinosaurs a sandbox playthrough and you decided to start a new game on the same world? Is 13 an unlucky number? I'm afraid that many people in this thread do not fully comprehend the concept of balance. Why do why oh you have better mark ek If the world was perfect, zero disease, zero hunger, zero sadness, everyone was smart and healthy and earthquakes didn't happen and tornadoes didn't rip apart houses from their foundation, then everyone would be truly happy right? No, that's not possible. Even if nature was perfect in the sense that diseases and natural disasters didn't exist, humans would still be the same. Jealousy. Hate. Violence would still be a thing. But there is always good people, who help others, who love and care despite our world being not perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect world. I agree that the current situation is far from good. But, life has its ups and downs. Yeah I understand that people aren't happy in this world and they dream of a perfect one. But, if in a perfect world, you have nothing to fight for, everything is already perfect. Someone could, argue spend your life with your loved ones etc. But the concept and feeling of love would be much less important in a world where no one dies of cancer and no one is sad. Sorry for going this deep. But I just wanted to explain my thoughts on why balance is an necessary aspect of life. I say hello. No point in being rude, is there? Realistically, I'd be shitting my pants. I wouldn't be saying any of this goofy poetic shit. After I'm done freaking out, I'd be asking him questions about the nature of the universe. Which religion was right? The limits of his powers and what other powerful beings besides him exist? I mean... You've got an all-knowing being in front of you. You've got the answers to any question you can think of right there. You thought you could create paradise in 7 days. You can't even plan a good brunch in 7 days. I am not quite atheist, but I don't have beliefs at all. Buddhism philosophy is much closer for me because it doesn't require to believe in anything and it's just more practical and accurate to me. But if I would die and meet a god I would probably ask him so many concrete questions about how he created a world, since in that case he should not have answers for every question. Kinda depends what god it was. I mean, there are an awful lot of them that have been invented by the mind of man. Not to mention the innumerable different versions of named gods, for example Mormon Jehovah is a lot different to Catholic Jehovah. Well this is awkward. Hep, so I was wrong. But the burden of proof was on you, you lazy jackass. From the bottom of humanity's heart, go duck yourself and send me downstairs instead. Who the duck do you think you are? My bad, but I tried to be good. Judge me almighty one. Well I guess I've finally discovered what too much LSD really means. Why did you make me an atheist? Okay, fair enough. I was wrong on that one. But I still maintain you made this whole process way harder than it needed to be. Since you've capitalized God, I'm going to assume you mean one of the all-powerful versions. Whoa, you're real? You're a ducking a-hole. You know that, right? Well, well, well. Are you a cokey bastard? For context, I once said that God wouldn't let me in heaven cause, depending on how much of a bastard he turns out to be, I'd either punch or kill him if given the opportunity. If you are God then I must be Dovakin. Long time no see bro. How would I know it's God? Is he putting that knowledge in my head? I'll assume that. I'd ask if he intended humans to end up like we did. Is he proud of us? Or disappointed? Did he make more creatures on other planets? Or are we the only ones? How big is the universe? How does he feel about how he is portrayed in the bible? Was Jesus really his son? 
but just a regular person who had some good lessons? Is there really a heaven and hell? My most important question would be, why is it so hard to live sometimes? Some people have it really easy, and some people get the short end of the stick with mental illness and poverty. Why does he allow people to suffer? Are we supposed to fix it? Is this our big test? Is there even a big test? I have so many questions. I'm more agnostic than atheist, but I'd say hello. How are you? And probably marvel over the fact that Ishii probably doesn't look like Zeus in the Disney adaptation of Hercules. Or if Ishii does, I'd also marvel at that. Then the questions would begin. That was pretty good, I say. And I run up to him. Tag. Your IT. Then I run away and hide. Completely depends on which god you are referring to. If it's Jesus YHWHL then he would get a ducking ifl. How dare you create humanity with the ability to create a system of reasoning that allows us to describe the nature of our reality, and have that system inevitably led us to the conclusion that believing in you is irrational? How dare you only reveal yourself to one tiny section of the Middle East, leaving billions of people to die without ever getting a chance to know the truth, and therefore suffer in hell for all eternity? You are a small, petty, capricious a-hole who doesn't deserve one ounce of worship. Now where the hell is Lucifer? It'd rather suffer for eternity with him than look at your genocidal face for one second. Depends on the god. It can go duck himself with a metal spike. Most of the gods that are part of pantheons are also a-holes to varying degrees. But at least they're basically just people. I did some ducked up shit thousands of years ago is way more acceptable for some dude who happens to be immortal than someone claiming to be infallible. Huh, I didn't believe in you because if a god did exist, they wouldn't be such a giant a-hole to the human race. I guess I was wrong. Proceed to point out that although I was wrong all these years, he'd best readied himself for the ass kicking of a lifetime. I'll go down swinging. Where the duck you been bruh? Funny you mentioned that. I've been judging you too. Oh, so you weren't dead. I will say, hello there. I claim this realm for Texas. What's Hitler doing in front of me? Plot twist to a very dark story. Well then, I guess I was wrong. Does being atheist mean I go straight to hell? Do I get a trial? Or does heaven hell not exist? Hey, do atheists go to hell? Wait, I made it to heaven? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.